Okay, so after um, evaluating my test strip, um, I determined that the best time for me to set my um, my print to for a full exposure was about a little bit over four seconds. So I'm going to put it at about, you can see it's almost at five seconds. Um, I didn't move my paper easel at all, and I didn't change anything up here. All my settings are the same. So all I have to do at this point is I slid my as you can see my photo paper in shiny side up and I, I made sure it was in the paper easel correctly and I'm just going to go ahead and turn my enlarger on and right now this is being exposed so I expose it for that very short amount of time and then of course I would run it through um, all the chemistry baths like I normally would so again um, this is not going to come out obviously because it's been exposed in fact it's going to turn completely black because <laughs> it's been exposed. In fact, I'll show you what that looks like. There we go. So that's been destroyed, but if you if you move down this way, um, I had this in the fixer for at least two minutes, so it should be safe. I have the final print here of, I'll call him Yertle the Turtle, but there it is. So that, that was the exact same print at that time. And um, before I leave the dark room, I'm, I'm done with everything, so I'm going to want to rinse this in the water bath for at least five minutes. And while I'm doing that, um, number one thing that everybody forgets to do, because they're so excited about their first print, take a moment, take your negative out of the negative carrier, okay, and put this back in your negative file. Um, unfortunately, I can't do this while I'm holding the, uh, the cell phone, but that is... Uh, the next step of this process and then you're going to go ahead and take your print which let's just pretend for a moment this has been in here for the full five minutes although it really hasn't and you're going to put this in the print dryer and dry this off so that looks great the end